Hello everybody, Professor Azumi here this time, and we're going to do Economics for Valkyrie Connect 101. So, the basis of everything in this game is mana. That's going to be your main source of doing almost everything in this game. And the main way to get that most of the time is to do Connect Battles. And you don't get it if you don't host. So uh, from time to time, there's onslaughts events that give you a good bit of mana. But your best bet is to just whatever the highest star one that you can do and go for the mana flask and get it. That's the best way to farm mana. And what you use mana for mostly is to do mana summons. So, you do mana summons to get, to build up your one star characters. And I did, I got one that time, so I got one soul. And because I already have Krozak at five star, every time I get a duplicate of him, I get another soul. And then those souls are then turned into the trader which can be used to get characters that you don't have and and um, every diamond summon character I believe is available in this you just have to be lucky enough for it to show up uh, in your soul trader as well as the X weapons for the characters so if you're missing a character or you need an X weapon from them the best way to do that is to get mana do a whole lot of mana summon pools and farm those souls up to get whatever you need to buy them. I currently have 1,268 and I don't really need any of this stuff at the moment so not going to worry about it. So another thing that you do with your mana and I clicked on the wrong one there is the blacksmith. So, when you do mana pools, you get extra equipment. So, take this right here. This is Skull's SP weapon. You only ever need one of those in the game, period, because she can only, only Skull can equip it, and she can only equip one. So, sell it. I don't need this. I don't need any of these. And those are just extra blacksmith coins that's what you're looking for so that means your your mana directly translates into blacksmith coins which in turn you go to the trader again and go to blacksmith and you can get some pretty decent uh, diamond summon weapons and equipment in here as like the crystal armor which gives you pretty nice stats even at you know three star and it gives you magic defense and HP up which is actually really good so and then you can also get uh, reforged knives in here the red three star reforged knives which can allow you to upgrade equipment that you don't have enough of to make five star alright so Next, we're going to do the other uses for mana are basically just leveling up your characters. Uh, you can level them up, you know, without mana by just fighting, but that takes forever. So, at the higher levels, it does take quite a bit, but... You know, it ends up being worth it in the long run, especially if you farm a lot of mana, because you should anyway, because doing a lot of connect battles will also get you the, the tokens that you need to buy the specific gear that goes for that connect battle. And most of that equipment is fairly good and will help new players a lot. And the other thing is, is when you're doing the mana pools, you get um, 
upgrade knives and stuff like that like right here so that is also the main way that you're going to level your equipment so let's see I have a eh, let's just do a gambler's wand because it's right there oh, I'm in the wrong menu We'll do that because it's right there, and I know there was that three-star ring right down here. And... I uh, must have been blind, I don't know. Oh. Uh, right here's one, and you know, even extra equipment that you don't need anymore that once you have enough of them, just you can go ahead and feed that to other equipment just to get level up and that's how you level up your equipment is by just extra equipment from mana pools and getting the blue knives and blue rings so that's basically the economy for Valkyrie connect and you know if you play your cards right and have enough souls when do enough mana pulls to have enough souls when you get the right characters in the soul trader menu there's all kinds of really help ones available like here we have uh beach blues brunhild which is you know uh actually a really good character because her action skill is really useful um you can also get Swimsuit Erd, who's really useful. And uh, even Halloween characters like Draculoki are available in there. Um, here we have Halloween Niji. She is actually really helpful. She's available in there. So if she comes around, I'd recommend her as well as Spooky Witch Idun, which is one of the few healers in the game. And... So, you know, most people that didn't get Erd or Noah only end up with Baldur. So this is another one that you can get for basically free if you do enough grinding. And that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, get Grind out that mana and just keep doing everything you gotta do to get blacksmith tokens and uh, souls tokens tokens and you can get lots of really good stuff in the game which will allow you to move up ranks in arena and get more diamonds and also be able to do better connect battles to get you know higher level connect battles to get those characters and even if you have even different ones because you'll have a wider range of characters and it just makes the game a lot more fun plus you get the extra diamonds for every character that new character that you get because that's 330 diamonds so yep that's pretty much how it works and thank you for watching and have a good day